Hey, what's going on, guys? Back doing our rat run series. This time we do have um, a little bit of armor. We're using a TV 110. We don't have a bag to cut a little bit of cost. If you're new to the series, essentially what we do is go in with limited kits. Try to keep it under 100,000 um, ruples and basically go in and see how much we can make. Obviously, the cheaper your gear in, the higher amount of money you're going to make, but less likely you'll live throughout it if you're constantly engaged in PvP. That being said, we're going to cut right in. Um, looks like we spawned near resort. There's a little cabin that I like to go to if I get this spawn. Now, being that this is a keyless run, I generally will avoid resort at all costs because the only people that are going up there are people with keys. And that little uh, side part of almost all the cabins here on woods and on shoreline, this one's obviously we're on shoreline, um, but a lot of those have a chance to get a rare item spawn. Now that being said, I have honestly not seen a rare spawn in a while, so uh, maybe they've changed that, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and head over to the weather station from here. Um, give people kind of a chance to go up to resort so uh, that way I can kind of be somewhat safe. I'll cut there um, cause it's going to be a little bit of running. Alright we are on top of the knoll now. There's a little... I thought it was a scav. I'm pretty sure that's a scav. Uh, a little scav here. Normally those two uh, that spawn up here so keep that in mind. Uh, might want to be a little bit more slower pace coming up. I just try to kill him before they start shooting at me. You no, know, I could have sworn he was on my right, but it sounds like he's on my left, so. There he is. Okay, you gonna die? That's my guy. This guy's actually tank. Jesus. I wasn't anticipating losing my stomach this fast. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and met up here behind the shack and uh, get my stomach back together and then we'll go ahead and continue to loot. Alright, we are all healed up. Well, not all, but healed up enough to where I'm comfortable with looting this scab over here. Where was he? Did I not kill him right here? Weird. Uh, we'll just go in. Uh, I can look up top and I can probably see him from there. That happens to me actually a lot. I'll end up killing something and be slightly off on where I killed it. So I'll go too far or uh, not far enough. No one should be here being that I was pretty much one of the first here. But being that I popped my stomach, I want to be kind of quick. You can always search these drawers here, get random items out of them. I feel like it's not worth it. Like, watch, this will be crap. Okay, well, there's nothing even in that one. But the amount of time it takes to search it is probably not worth. Now, early wipe, yeah, definitely search it. You're going to get light bulbs and whatnot. And early wipe, you're going to be able to sell that for a good chunk of money. And as white progresses, the runs change ever so slightly, simply because certain items that were high valued or high ticket items are now not worth anything. And a lot of ways you can determine that is early quests and hideout upgrades. Those are going to be the items that you're looking for. One for yourself, because it's important to get your hideout at least increased enough to where you can start making... Um, something on each table. Now I, there is, I, I can't remember which one it is, but there is one that I generally won't make anything off of. I use the medic one all the time. I use the intelligence and all that, but there is one table I don't really use because it's not very profitable. So it's just kind of a waste of time overall. From here I'm just kind of scanning down the mountain. Uh, There's also a path up here I can take. Um, to go down safely. 
So right there I would jump off and I would crack my legs, but right here you can go straight down. You don't black your legs, you don't fracture them. As long as you go somewhat slow. I mean if you're running down you probably could still fracture it. I always like to check down this road as well when I'm going to the lighthouse because some people do camp this area. It's very rare, but every now and again you'll get got. Also it's a really good view of seeing where lighthouse is and seeing if anyone's over there. In this case I don't see anyone, I don't even see a scav, so that's a good sign. I don't see anything, so uh, I'll cut going into a uh, lighthouse. So right here, there's this little jeep uh, at the entrance of the road. In the back of it, there's a chance of a key spawn. So try to check that. Uh, early wipe, it sells for a lot more. I can't recall which sand key it is. I want to say it was 220, but I'm probably wrong on that. So if someone has been here, it looks like it. Yeah, I was afraid the surgery kind of screwed up this run a little bit because getting a pop in the stomach is going to slow you significantly. If it was an arm, I probably would have just went without uh, until I at least got this spot looted. Because now it's going to make the run a little bit harder. At least he didn't loot this. Ugh, well. Could have been better. Uh, I guess I'll pack mags and then run down the beach, hit some stashes. Alright, we are just outside the lighthouse. And its gas station is to my right for people that are not familiarized with the area. But here on the beach, you're going to see these little blue. I, I don't even know what you would call them. Not containers, but. Blue panels, anyways. Um, in the one, there's that stash. Also, there is. There's a gas station right there for those needing reference. But there is a key spawn that can spawn on one of these uh, lawn chairs. It's also one of the sand keys. I don't recall which one or resort. And then up here, we're going to be coming up on a stash here in a second. This stash hardly ever gets hit. Um, I think one, it's pretty exposed. But two, it's just not as familiarized. And most people don't. Is that it? I could have sworn I just saw dust fly up like a bullet hit. Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, the stash is right here uh, by these rocks. You just pop it open and hopefully we get something. Well, that's unfortunate. This is not looking like a good run so far. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and run up here because I did hear this shot. See if we can see any action. Maybe get a kill. Find the guy that's taken all of our loot. I don't see anyone. I don't even see dead scavs. Well. We'll end up just going to the boat, I think. So I don't see anyone there, and I don't want to go up on there with them shooting. It could be someone camping up inside one of the cottages, and then you just get shot in the back while trying to find them. And there's only two ways, or three ways to get in cottages. So I'd rather not uh, get caught with my pants down. So this little island has a lot of containers, and there is a stash as well. Uh, also, you have two medical containers. Really good early wipe, because most people won't worry about the medical containers down here. They're going to be focusing more on resort, because resort has a lot of medical containers. But early wipe when you need those salaywas and whatnot. 
pretty good. A lot of people are going to interchange and resort, or shoreline and then going to resort simply because it's uh, a much easier option. But a lot of people don't realize there's two medical containers right here behind me. I think there's a key that spawns that table. I, not positive. But right up here, you look to the right in this canister, and you get two medical containers. Or bags. It's not as good this lane in the way, but we'll go up in here. I forgot about this container. You have this container out here, then there's one up inside to the left. If I can make it inside. Nothing. Also, a lot of people will come here on this island to get Shooter Born in Heaven and Extract Camp. Normally, when I get Shooter Born in Heaven, I go above Power Plant, where Resort is, and it's just far enough for Shooter Born in Heaven. Um, but I know a lot of people will use that island as well. I just, I can't sit in an entire match waiting for people to exit. Well, I wasn't expecting another player here. Went ahead and dropped his pistol on the ground. The majority of his stuff he has is actually found in raid, so I'm probably going to swap my TV 110 here and use that armor. Uh, that way I can guarantee my TV 110 comes back with insurance. And I've already had to repair my stomach a couple times, so regardless of what armor I have, I'm most likely going to be screwed here. So I'll just drop this. I'll put it in a bush, and we'll move on to the cottages and see if he's looted that yet. Well, we dropped all the insurance items, and I don't see anything looted. Oh, okay. So he's been here. Um, I'll hit a couple more, but I'm probably just going to skip to where we're going into... Maybe the other part of the village. Sometimes people only hit these, but it looks like. Yeah, he's already hit all this up. Alright, I'm gonna skim forward. Just coming up on the other village. Never mind. Let's kill this guy first. Maybe he'll have something decent for me. Man, this has turned out to be a real bad rat run. I mean, we're alive, so that's a plus, but the fact that there's no loot, like... Okay. Well, shit's gonna hit me while I'm in this bush. Oh, there it is. Yeah, normally you can get a pretty good run by going through Lighthouse, because a lot of people will hit Lighthouse. They're just... Wait until after they're done resort. In this case, someone went straight to Lighthouse, so... Not exactly my... Preferred run. But, in the end... This happens, right? So... I'm not going to put a value on the green tea simply because I'm drinking it. Uh, most... Food and uh, juices and waters and stuff don't hold a whole lot of value. The lunch box is an MRE skin, but outside that, for a lot of the consumables that I'll just eat. So I don't have to eat outside of raid. I think he's looted this up too. Probably gonna have to go to Swamp, which isn't awful. Swamp holds a lot of stuff, but uh, obviously isn't great. I'm going to try to rapid loot swamp because I feel like the time is getting a little bit excessive being that this run is taking 
quite a bit longer than I was expecting. So I'm basically going to cut to each house um, as we loot. Which this one looks like it's looted, so we may not even be doing swamp. Hopefully, they just touched the outside. Yeah, he fully looted that. Okay. On our first crate that doesn't appear to be touched. Eh. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe get something good. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, that's that's not bad. We do have the ammo crate, and then we have the little green container. Okay. Um, maybe something... Nope. Alright, uh, switch to the next house, guys. Well, unfortunately, this isn't going to be the best run, but uh, we'll hit this stash, and we'll probably hit the containers on the outside of uh, the swamp, and there's also two scavs, sometimes three, that we can kill on the edge of swamp. So we'll go ahead and hit those up. I forgot about the cultist house. And these are actually pretty good. And a lot of times they're hit, but maybe we'll get lucky. It doesn't look like it's been searched yet. Uh, okay, maybe it was searched and closed. Right past this cultist church, there's two containers we're going to hit. Um, we'll probably kill the scavs first, because they will occasionally shoot at you while you're looting. So, go up the mountain, kill the scavs, hit the two containers up there, and then go down and grab the containers on the outside of the swamp. Oh, don't hear him either. How odd. Oh, I actually want that. Hit this container. I was actually expecting this to be looted. Maybe I should have did... There he is. See if I can jump up on this rock. Maybe I should have did a key run, but I was really trying to wait one more week before introducing keys into this mix. Okay, uh, not good. Buddy, don't ruin this crap of a run. Watch his guide for loot. Dies to scav. Gets hardly any loot. Oh man. This is honestly so rare. I don't generally have this bad of a run on Shoreline. If you see my other videos, these are actually pretty good runs. I don't like Shoreline for money. I uh, generally prefer woods. Interchange if I want PvP. Customs if I... Um, want to hit mark room up and then I'll depending the, like so customs has really good three spawns um, or three good places to loot and if you get one of those spawns you're golden like I got black card on I can't remember which rat run it was I want to say it was like around eight but I believe it's the picture actually has a black card on it um, Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and run down here just below that camp. I mean, you're going to see the two canisters I was talking about. And a lot of times they aren't looted, so hopefully that's the case. I thought there was two here. Maybe it's just one. I try to avoid swamp as best as I can. I only go to swamp once I don't have loot. Uh, and we got double Ds. Oh. This hasn't been the most eventful, but we did get a little action, so I guess guess that's all right. Uh, I'm gonna head to extract and see maybe we can loot up the little extract camp there and get something. And we got smoke, boys. We have a way to get out without taking another 20 minutes to run across the other side of the map. Hit these containers. Or container. I thought there was two containers in here. I don't I don't know why. The scab out here. 
by the sniper. Maybe not. Oh, there he is. I'm failing. And that hit him must just not have been a headshot. Alright. Well, that's a wrap, guys. Go ahead and uh, extract. This is our total. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying to the end. Sorry this wasn't the best of loot runs. Uh, we normally make a lot more than this. I'm assuming it's probably sub 600k, which I don't think I've made under 800k in a run, but it does happen. Oh, keyless run, maybe not so great on shoreline, but I know we've did it before, so. Thanks again for watching, thanks for staying to the end, and I'll see you guys next time.